Hey everyone, Serious Joe here, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new TARDIS interior, first seen in the 60th anniversary episode, The Star Beast. So I've put this video off for a few weeks as I wanted to see this TARDIS more in action before I kind of gave my opinions on it. So what do I think? Well, I think it's a really really cool looking set. I think it's a nice mix between the modern and the old, and it's definitely got that classic vibe to it with all the white roundels and white console. But then again, it's got that mixture and that scale that we've come to expect of the TARDISes of the modern era. It certainly does feel a lot bigger on the inside, and I believe this is the largest TARDIS set we've ever had, bar the TV movie, which is really cool to see actually. Also, I think I heard somewhere, I think it might be on the Star Beast commentary on BBC iPlayer, that this brand new TARDIS set has over 800 individual LED lights that can be operated separately, which is really incredible and, and it's amazing to see how far technically the show has come in the past few years. I also love how they now respond to the TARDIS, like if the TARDIS is crashing they glow all red, and when it's powered on and dematerializing the lights all flash and swirl. I really really like that and I feel it makes it a lot more alien and alive in a way. What is nice is that we have all these paths and these doorways leading off to here there and everywhere and it really adds to the scale of it all. I did feel with the 13th Doctor's interior it felt very boxed in and crammed and, and it just didn't feel like this big alien ship to me. Side note, can we just take a moment to appreciate the 14th Doctor's reaction to this new set? You can just tell that that was just purely David Tennant fanboy in. And I, I think to be honest, if I was him, I, I'd be the exact same. <laughs> the new console as well is really interesting, and I love how it has elements of the classic era, but once again feeling fresh and modern to new audiences. There are two tiny 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 little nitpicks I have with this design, and that is the coffee machine. It, to me it feels more of a gimmick at this stage than something I can see them using all the time. Don't get me wrong, it's really nice to see the TARDIS actually having a food dispenser, much like the 13th Doctors with a custard cream dispenser, and I suppose there's a nice nod back to the William Hartnell days with the food dispenser, however I'm not really a big fan on the fact that it takes up almost one whole panel of the console, and to me it feels more like a gimmick that can only be used like once or twice and, and never really get used again. But who knows, it's very early days at the moment and we haven't really seen fully what this TARDIS can do, so for all I know it could be a universal dispenser or it could be a way of creating gadgets and things within the TARDIS instead of manually having to make them, which I suppose would be a cool concept. As I said, it's a very minor nitpick, and overall I do kind of like the coffee dispenser as it adds that personal little touch to the TARDIS, but I do think it should be separate from the console. Talking of personal touches, for me this TARDIS feels very plain and empty. Like, the, the design is brilliant, and the design is certainly up there with one of my favourites, however it, it just feels very much like empty space at the moment. I know the 15th Doctor has the jukebox off to one side, but even then I feel there could be more homely touches to the set, like the hat stand or a couple of chairs or something like that, and I am hoping that they kind of add more things over time. I kind of had the same feeling with Matt Smith's second TARDIS interior that we saw in The Snowman, however when Peter Capaldi took on the set and started to add things like chairs and bookshelves and the chalkboard and stuff like that, I really began to like it, and I think that's why Peter Capaldi's interior is probably one of my favourites. So it'd be interesting to see if they kind of go down that route as well. As I said, these are very minor nitpicks, and overall I really like this set, and you can definitely tell the designers spent a lot of time to kind of mix the two eras, or technically three eras now, of Doctor Who together. So what does everybody else think of this new TARDIS? Do you like it? Do you hate it? And what are your own personal thoughts? Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like what you see, 
don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And I will see you all in the next video.